Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Metallurgical Engineering. Today in this video we will see about stainless steel, 18 inch stainless steel. So first we will see what is 18 inch stainless steel and the application of this stainless steel and uh, problem encountered during heat treatment and the prevention of that problem. So first we will see what is 18 inch stainless steel. So what is 18 inch? So, when the stainless steel contains 18% chromium and 8% nickel, that steel specifically is called 18 inch stainless steel. So, this steel is generally used. in is the best option of cookwares in the kitchen now we will see what kind of problem during heat treatment 18 stainless steel faced so an improper heat treated stainless steel may exhibit intergranular corrosion now what is this intergranular corrosion so as shown in the schematic these are the grains and this reason is showing highlighted reason so this is the grain boundary so at the grain boundary you can see there are some carbide precipitation have is this this one this one so what generally happens that the chromium percentage is 18 but whenever the chromium is less than 12 percent so chromium depleted region forms so due to this one there is a carbide precipitation forms at the grain boundary so this kind of uh, precipitate involves the intergranular corrosion so whenever the chromium carbide may precipitate at the grain boundaries due to excessive residual carbon in the stainless steel or due to the prolonged exposure at an elevated temperature as shown in the upper figure the reason immediately next to the chromium carbide precipitate is denuded this is the carbide precipitate and reason to the next like this one and this one all immediately next to the chromium carbide precipitate is denuded of chromium and therefore becomes anodic to the interior of the grain and a galvanic cell is set up and corrosion occurs so this kind of corrosion is called intergranular corrosion so this is very dangerous for 18 inch stainless steel so how to prevent this kind of corrosion so the carbon precipitation at the grain boundary and the depleted reason this reason this is all this is chromium depleted reason where chromium is less than 12 percent so this may give the detrimental effect of the 18 inch stainless steel so we will see how to prevent this kind of intergranular corrosion so there are three ways in which we can prevent this one first by reducing the carbon level so that excessive carbon will not be available there and we can prevent in the stainless steel to less than 0.05 percent the second way why quenching the stainless steel from a high enough temperature to prevent chromium carbide so that it will not form at the grain boundary 
and precipitation. And the last and third one by adding some strong carbide formal element. Carbide for an element to the steel such as first one is niobium this is the most important and Ti so that carbon precipitates as niobium carbide or titanium carbide and there will be no chance of no chance of precipitation of precipitate of chromium carbide chromium carbide so this is how we can prevent the stainless steel from intergranular corrosion first by reducing the reducing the carbon level to less than 0 0.05 second by quenching the stainless steel from a high enough temperature to prevent chromium carbide and precipitation at the grain boundary and the third one is by adding a strong carbide forming element first one is niobium second one is ti so that carbon precipitates as nbc and tic and there will be no chance of formation precipitate of chromium carbide so this is all about the intergranular corrosion intergranular Corrosion of 18.8 SS. So this is about the schematic. This is what is stainless 18 stainless steel, and what is the application and the problem encountered during heat treatment. And this is about the prevention of that problem. So guys, please stay connected and. Uh, Thank you and please like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.